one um, is we've tried diagnosing it a few times already. It's the, um, the car goes dead every night. It doesn't matter what we do. And uh, we've changed the battery. It's not the battery. Checked everything else. Bad connections. It's all good. So there's something in the car that's actually drawing power even when the car's shut off. We've checked everything to make sure nothing's left on, nothing's left on. So now we're going through with a meter and testing each and every individual circuit. I don't know if you can see that. Mm -hmm. So in here, and we're testing each individual circuit for what's drawing power. And then I'm writing them down. I'm gonna go back to my wiring schematic, figure out what they're doing and why it's being powered on. Um, we tried last night pulling fuses for the infotainment center and and some of the auxiliary items on the car to see if that stopped and it still went dead. So we got to figure it out. So what we're doing is each individual circuit, amperage draws, and uh, just one at a time, just like this. Yeah, this one. So to check my wires and my current draw, I'd wire my meter in series with the circuit. Okay, so on this one I got a 40 milliamp draw. Nope, 60 milliamp draw. 50, 50, 50, 50. It's bouncing around. Two? 40, 90. Would you fucking pick a number that damn it? Uh, okay, so with this one, we ended up diagnosing it. We actually found the F2 fuse in the rear panel. It's keeping the VCM constantly looking for the keys. So it turns out that it's, this is a programming issue, and uh, there's nothing we can do about it. Um, so I've, I've spoken with Ford on behalf of the customer. We've kind of collaborated a little bit. We're going to send this to them. They're going to try reprogramming the keys and the BCM and we're going to try that and see if that solves the issue and we're going to go from there.